All right, guys, West Virginia Grill Billy back again. We're getting ready to light the acorn up. We're going to grill us some uh, salmon fillets tonight on some cedar planks. So we're going to give that a try tonight. So let's get this fired up and ready to go. So this charcoal over top. One thing I really like about this acorn is very efficient with charcoal. You can see how much... This is how much I had left after the, my last video with the sirloin steaks, the New York strips. So let's get a little pile going here. There we go. We'll let that burn. Get our acorn up to about 300, 350. And then we'll start grilling some fish. We'll be right back. Okay, guys. We got us some fresh salmon fillets. And some fresh scallops so uh, got them out and ready to go on the grill before uh, while my grill's getting hot we're going to throw some rub on here give them a little flavor this is uh, killer hogs barbecue rub I know you're thinking well that's what you use on pulled pork but I looked up on this guy's site and he uses it on uh, salmon and seafood all the time so it's really good so we're going to give it a try tonight so we're going to give a good coating over the fish and then hit the scallops coat them up real good just like so all right we're going to let that sit for 15-20 uh, minutes Get that grill flattened out about 350, and we'll be throwing them on the grill. All right, we're creeping up on 350, a little over 300 there. So we'll wait a few more minutes. Me and Mr. Buster are anxiously awaiting. Right, buddy? Right, buddy? <laughs> he is ready to eat. All right, there they are, all set on the planks. I had the planks soaking in water for about 45 minutes. So uh, we're getting ready to put them on the grill here. All right, there we are, got them on the grill. A little space between them so the heat can go around. We'll give that about 20 to 30 minutes. We'll check back on them in about 10 or 15, see how we're doing. Okay, it's been about 15 minutes. We're gonna check it out and see what we got. Doing pretty good. Coming along, those scallops are starting to whiten up a little bit. So is the fish. Coming along good. Let's close her up. Holding her about 350 or so. Yep. All right, we'll leave it about another 10 15 minutes. We'll give it a check. All right, it's been about another 15 minutes or so. We're going to check on our fish, see what we got. Yeah, that looks good. Look here. Scallops are firmed up. You can see how the scallops are firmed up there. Let's check the temperature of our meat. Our fish. Oh, yeah, we're up about 140. That's well done. All right, let's get this stuff off here. And we will eat some fish and scallops. Man, that looks good. All right, got it in off the grill. It looks really good. I'm going to uh, give one of these salmon fillets here a try. Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's good and flaky. Look how that comes apart. Good and flaky. Let's get a bite of that. Mmm, boy. It's really good. That barbecue rub on there surprises me. It's very good on that fish. Let's try one of these scallops and see how it is on that. Grab this one right here. That looks good. Look at that. All righty. That's really good. Guys, give this a try. It's the first time I've cooked on cedar planks. It turned out really good. You can really pick up the smokiness of the flavor. The rub was really good on this. As you can see, the table's set. We're getting ready to tear into it. 
So this is the West Virginia Grill Billy saying thanks for watching. Like and subscribe my channel and keep on grilling.